Well, I'll tell you. There's something that uh, just happened. I'm in a uh, doctor's office, uh, waiting room part, and uh, something very interesting about human nature. A man came in, another patient, into the waiting room and um, gave a nice hello to uh, one of the uh, nurses or helpers there. And he called out, he says, uh, good morning. And she answered, good morning. And he said, how are you? And she said, fine. And then she asked him, how are you? And he said, fine. I'm here to state that um, the stories that you've seen and that the stories you're going to hear and see, well, you're not going to see the actual stories, of course, but I'm going to relate them to you, just making sure that you know that I'm telling you that they're 100% true. Of course, I guarantee you, if I was going to make up a story, it would be a lot more exciting. And my stories are because I want you to hear them. But you don't have to hear them. That's up to you. And your stories might be just as good as mine or better. More exciting, more dangerous, who knows? So I'm not assuming anything about my stories being fantastic or unusual or who knows how exciting. I just wanted to get that clear. At least I'm relating them. If you relate yours, chances are if I can see them, I would. And if I'm bored, I wouldn't see them anymore. That's my message for now, and it covers all of my videos. All of them. Those that are done and those that are going to be done. Signing off. Well, here's another one, U.S. Army, uh, World War II. You're tired of hearing about it already. Well, you can cut me off. Don't worry about it. I won't even know if you don't listen. Uh, this one was uh, my, uh, my first sergeant who was a regular Army man. He had been in the Army long before I got in it. Uh, he was a nice guy. Very, uh, had a family man and everything. And family was, this was overseas in Greenland. Lovely place. Um, it seems that uh, he was where he shouldn't be, and I don't know where that was. But he hailed me when I was practicing driving the Jeep. You may have found out about that on one of my other stories. Every word is true. Um, he hopped on the Jeep, and he told me where to take him. The base didn't have that many places. But uh, I had a feeling, you know, he, he wanted to take me, he wanted me to take him to a particular barracks. Well, on the way, he saw an officer who might see him in the Jeep with me. So he said he had to get out. So I started to slow up. He said, no, 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 keep going. He said, I got to get out while you're going. Uh, I slowed up a little bit because I didn't want him to get killed. It was an open Jeep, you know, he was next to me. I was driving, he was next to me. He started moving his legs while he was sitting, and then he got one leg out, and then the other leg out, and out he went. Boy, was he, <laughs> I had no idea he had that much pep. I never saw him move that fast. Another true story, kind of interesting. You gotta have some humor even when you're in the army. So that's about it. As I think of life's experiences, I, uh, that's when I uh, make a video if I'm uh, in a place where I can do it. This is one that uh, where I was working on a job. I was working, this is uh, after World War II. Uh, one of my first jobs was for a sign painter business. Uh, it was quite a big business and I had all kinds of jobs that I had to do, but basically I'm an artist. I used to paint chickens for uh, poultry stores and uh, birthday cakes for 
uh, bakeries and things like that. That's why they really hired me. Anyway, I was actually in the union, uh, signed pictorial and display union, number 230 in Manhattan. That's in New York. Anyway, this one experience I had in a, uh, I was sent to do uh, window lettering, uh, two large windows and two small ones in a uh, dry cleaning establishment. It was a very interesting job because of the story I'm going to tell you. I uh, laid out the job, uh, put the words in. Uh, uh, this is all working backwards, of course, because you're inside the store uh, in the uh, window area and um, uh, putting chalk on the window and so forth in order to mark where you're going to do the lettering. There were large letters, basically so-and-so dry cleaners, you know, uh, reasonable prices, whatever it said, I don't remember. But the job was an all-day job. And of course, the place was very warm and humid. This was in the springtime and uh, customers coming in and out, but I had nothing to do with them. I was the one in the window and they would look to say, oh, you're having the windows done. Well, that's basically the story. I worked real hard, did all the lettering and everything. And then the job was done. So the uh, proprietor came over. You know, I was doing it for my boss. The proprietor came over. He said, hey, it looks really good. I said, yeah, it's uh, probably dry already. He says, uh, it's dry already? I said, yeah, it looks dry to me. And uh, to prove it, I, uh, I, uh, I wiped the finger along a black. This was a black and white uh, art. The, uh, the letters were in reverse, so the letters were white. I put the white on top of the black in the uh, window, uh, on the inside of the window, of course. So uh, the black was the background, if you're looking at the front of the window from outside. The black was the background and white was all the lettering. And uh, basically the white was stippled, that's a, you know, a term uh, that you might be familiar with. It was done with a uh, uh, cheesecloth uh, with cotton inside or whatever, I don't remember. And uh, anyway, I wiped my finger along, uh, mainly the black area and uh, to prove that it was dry. Well, guess what came off on my finger? All the black. The entire job, 100% of the job, like 100% of the true story I'm telling you, was resting on a moist window. And there was no clue of it while I did the lettering or everything else, painting the background. There was no clue whatsoever. It was not visible naked eye, and that's all I had was naked eyes. I was dressed otherwise. That's the story. The job had to be done all over again. And Pathic Sam telling you about life's experiences. Bye.